What's happening? I take it you talk to Paige. I did and I do, yep. Yeah? But there's something we need to take care of first. It'll be worth it. So, okay. Hilariously, I'm looking for something that is designed to be invisible. Untraceable. It's a suit that hides you from everything, even laser detection grids. Which would help out with Vault 79, right? Nothing is completely untraceable. Think of it like a swimmer that's underwater. It might take a while, but they have to pop up for air, right? So there's always brief moments of exposure, even if it's only exposed to certain eyes. You get what I'm saying? Potentially a lot of things we're watching, but there's one that would have been designed to see it. Probably also relay that sighting, too. But just sending that update could blow your cover, if you did it directly. Kind of defeats the purpose, right? Are you just agreeing out of anxiety? Okay, I'll try to boil this down while sounding 5% less confusing. Let's see. We need to go take out a Liberator bot to see if it has a record of another piece of Chinese tech coming through here. Alright. I'll see if we have anyone around here who can help out with the next part. Wow, existential. For a perfectly preserved slice of pie, maybe? I'd kill someone for a great slice of pie, full disclosure. If you help me find the robot, we can find a spy suit, and then I can wear the spy suit for the vault job. Got it? Oh, well, my parents both used to take me along when they went scavenging. They were really good at it, so I picked up some good pointers. So I guess I've been doing this most of my life. I guess a lot of people born after the war and outside the vaults could say the same. I feel like I recognize that name. Is she good with robots? I can do electrical stuff, but hacking and whatnot is beyond me. Oh, of course! We were planning to pick apart one of those air purifiers to see if we could get them going again. I'll have to ask her about that too. Be safe out there! I can't believe that Penny's cat isn't robotic! What a letdown.
I see you found a way to get into the vault. Seems like it's always cloudy. Thanks again for lending a hand. Oh, you're quite welcome. Ah, hello again. Put that robot on my workbench, will you? I'll be honest. I was hoping you'd have the mother load just hanging around in your room, Penny. Oh no, there's no room for that. Though knowing her, she may sure. yet try to make an appearance. <laughs> so do you want the logs from this robot? Yep. Look for an entry that begins with 58 when you're in. That should list any entries related to our target. These logs look encoded, but like nothing I've seen before. Entry you're looking for would have been broadcast daily since about 11 years ago. Just read the stuff in brackets at the end when you find it. Found it. The part in the brackets says B A I 2, Q U A N 2, Y U A N 2, and then the number 7. I'm afraid that's all Chinese to me. As in, it's actually Chinese. To everyone. I. Spring. Duh. Why seven, though? Hmm. Oh. Seventh hole on the golf course, maybe. Wait, you don't. Do you? What? Speak Chinese? I mean, it's been a while, but yeah. Wait. So my mom's last known location was. a golf course? I don't get it. I can't imagine there's anything spy worthy there. What the heck would she be doing there? Are you saying what I think you're saying? Yes, they were spies. My parents were spies. They're both dead, all right? I was born here. I don't know about any of that. No, 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 I don't care about. I mean, you're looking for... spy gadgets? That's like a dream project. Can I see everything when you get back? That'd be great, actually. It had this biometric encoding, and I think it'll work for a close relative like me. But, um, l l let's talk later. You said you're recalibrating the robot. To do what, exactly? To find the tech if it's still nearby, and not shoot at anyone along the way. Maybe if you take it to the seventh hole, it'll pick up the signal again. I'll get the lab ready for when you get back. Be safe out there, you two. Wow, I feel like we're actually finally going to find it after talking to Penny. I've never been this close. So, you ready to go? Really? All right, but before I go, I should probably talk to Paige. I can catch up with you later, but I want to be the one to tell him about my folks. Sounds like a plan. Oh, don't forget our little recalibrator friend here. You should consider this place a fresh start. They took me in years ago and became my family. It could be the same for you. What's up, Buttercup? Oh, I joined up with them north of here a while back. They seem to be from all over this region. My family used to live in what's now the Capital Wasteland. Mostly, I keep an eye on the area around Foundation. 
I look for good things to bring back and keep an eye out for anything hazardous. If the super mutants are on the move or a bunch of scorched move into the area, Ward needs to know as soon as possible. See you around. Did you drink the inoculation yet? Yeah.
Danny show me how to send a transmission to your pit boy directly. In case you didn't know why you're here. Yet. I'm not a ghost. I swear. Looks like the Liberator is holding in on the last known location of the town. Which I guess I don't need to tell you. Unless you left it all alone in the world to do something. I don't understand. Oh, I talked to Paige and we're all good. Repairs will be completed.
Don't. I don't want to fight. I don't want any trouble. I'm here against my will. Yes, I can see why that would be confusing. Not all of us have the luxury of choice. They threatened to kill my family if I didn't work for them. From what I have overheard on these listening devices, you are working with my daughter. She's on her way here, right now. I didn't want her to have to witness the inevitable, but here we are. This ends the same either way. She shouldn't be long now. Based on the proximity one. Hey, there you are. I'm here. I caught up. Ma? Wait. How can you be alive, Mom? Why are you here? What is this place? Jen. Why would you come here, you foolish child? You need to leave. I came here looking for your corpse. I needed a suit, but I buried dad with his years ago. 
I couldn't get it off. I was killing it. I didn't know you were alive down here. How could I? You left. Just don't move, okay? I'm trying to think of a way where you walk out of this. Bro, we don't just kill you along with everyone else down here. This is... I can't believe what's happening. I was certain that they killed her, but here she is, working for them? It's too much to consider. How can someone do that to their own child, though? How do you just leave them to make their own way in this world? He's asking a lot for me to forgive her. I... think I can do that. Mom? What do you say? What if I can help you hide out? We can make it work, can't we? So, how does this work? How can we save you? Let's figure this out. I'll have to go into hiding and destroy the suit. They're tracking it. We might be able to shield the signal from the suit once or twice. But are you willing to give it up after using it? We don't have much time to decide. I guess you're right. Hell of a thing to be thrown away, though. I'll finish up here and then meet you back at Foundation, okay? I need a moment. Thank you for sparing my life. I never expected to be reunited with Jen, my treasure. I'm still very worried, but thank you for your part in this. saves.
have important work to do. Can this wait? Well, not long after things really went to hell, I ran across a vault with a faulty door. It was perfectly fine inside, but the door mechanism was shot. I negotiated with those inside, and they agreed to take my family in if I could close it. Closing it could only be done from the outside, and would result in lethal radiation. Imagine my surprise to end up like this. It has definite advantages, though. Sometimes. I miss my notes, though. Aubrey. I suppose he's qualified. He doesn't seem particularly comfortable around me. Oh, did the lab coat give it away? Before the war, I was an industrialist. Which, I guess, is just a fancy way of saying I did a lot of paperwork. When everything went up in flames, I did whatever I could to survive. I'm sure you know a lot about how that can be, so I won't bore you. It's fantastic to simply be in a lab coat again. Worrying about air and water purifiers. Worrying about making things better for people in Appalachia. So much to fix, so little time. Hey, I got the suit. Looks like we're good to go. I snagged it on my way out. Penny's gonna fix it up so it can chase the cat around. You don't happen to have a piece of Derek's blackberry pie, do you? I bet. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Sorry. Bad joke. I'm all good to go. She's gonna meet up with me after we hit Vault 79. I need to tell Paige about the risk before she comes here. I wanna be better about being honest. It's hard to tell the truth when you're afraid of getting hurt. But you and Paige have really helped me out when you didn't have to. It's taught me to trust. A bit. Sounds good. And hey, thanks again. Sunny always says his stuff will go on sale tomorrow. Somehow, tomorrow never seems to get here. So I saw Jen and Penny are working on that stealth tech. Guess it's time we talked about those laser turrets, huh? The blueprints don't exactly list the spec sheet, but there's a lot of install ports and wide open space. Penny started calling it the Grim Reaper's Hallway. I had to reach out to some specialists who've been shadowing us since the pit. They've agreed to meet, but they want to talk to you first. I don't know. Something about mission protocols. They seem like ex-military to me, but I haven't exactly checked their records. Just be careful. The Foundation and those bums up at the crater just don't get along. All right. Just so you know, these people are, uh, rigid when it comes to how they contact each other. They have this whole signaling thing they do. I'm gonna mark a spot on your map. Go there and wave the flag. The old stars and stripes. That'll let them know you're the one. They'll tell you what to do from there. They keep their distance, but they've always helped us. 